Mrs. Dana Carmen Boschman, Jorge Arevalo, señora Rosalía Serrano, dear guests, vocational education and training professionals, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am pleased to welcome you to this international encounter on vocational training jointly organized by the Basque government and the European Commission. Thank you so much for taking part in this event. A special thanks to the people who have come to outside the Basque country. I hope that during these days you will be able to work and to enjoy our beautiful country. We have two days ahead to know each other, to discuss and share our different experiences and ideas. No doubt, our main goals for all of us are to be enriched, to know different experiences, and to know different ways of work. Egunon guztioi, eta esan bezala, eskerrik asko, lanbide zigitaren inguruan arituko diren jardunaldi hauetan parte hartzeagatik. Eziketa duallak protagonismo irabazik azken urteetan. Good morning, everybody. Education is becoming more and more popular recently, both here in the Basque country and outside the Basque country, and that's what we're going to be talking about over the next two days. But I, to start out, would like to just briefly look at how vocational training has evolved. And that's how I'm going to start this event, looking at how VET in the Basque Country has changed over recent years. The current situation of our VET is the fact, is thanks to the fact that it has changed, changed a great deal, and a great deal of funding has helped that come about, and this has meant that we are well positioned in the current economic crisis, and we've got sufficient experience to face up to the changes from this position that we have of stability and being well prepared. As you know, there are a lot of changes, long-term changes, just out there on the horizon, and this is uh, forcing us to modify many of the current realities and also changing the products that we produce. I truly think that the Basque country has been able to drive forward a system that meets the needs that have gradually emerged. The Basque country, we have a long tradition of change and adaptation of uh, vocational training, adapting to the needs of companies and people. And this has meant that VET here in the Basque Country has become an international benchmark for us. VET is essential for our economy to develop, for our companies, and it's important to improve uh, jobs and as well it is good for the welfare of our society. Our companies are changing the way they do things and also the way they are organized, because that's the only way we can carry on being competitive. And this adaptation leads to other changes which are also equally as deep. For example, the necessary skills that people need to be employable. Companies want new professional profiles characterized by high skills, adaptability, and high levels of specialization. So that workers can actually respond to the needs of global competition. And this transition leads to a great deal of instability and uncertainty, because it's not clear what skills will be needed in the medium and long term. But that's the reality, and that's why it's so clear that the VET model here in the Basque Country needs to adapt. It's our obligation to be flexible and efficient in the way we respond to this and try to find a way of responding to all these needs using a model that is close to companies and uses v for dual 
constraining. There's a lot to be done still, but our ideas are clear. We know what we're trying to do. Over the next academic year, 1,804 students will participate in a dual training program. This is an increase of almost 50% in comparison to the previous academic year. And that's been possible thanks to the involvement of our technical schools and our companies. We've managed to increase in 38% the number of companies and technical schools involved in dual training. And the, their number, the number of companies, has gone up from 739 to 1,023 companies. For once, for the very first time, there are over a thousand companies involved in dual training. So we're taking the uh, right route. 81% of those students that have taken dual training got a job the day after they finished their studies. We believe that we truly are taking the right route. And there are figures to prove that. Once again, she's repeating what she's already said in Basque now in Spanish. 81.73% of students who took part in dual vocational training were hired the next day after they finished their studies. That percentage goes up if you look at what happened to those just a few months after having graduated. Why is that so? Because companies find in these students the skilled, specialised labour that they're looking for. Just a final figure, 95.3% of companies in the programme are prepared to carry on hiring students from dual training this coming year. I think that's very significant because it means that dual VET, together with the recognition of workplace experience and programs for career specialization, are going to help us face up to the current and future needs of our society. Training is something that encourages fairness, equality and social cohesion. And all this is necessary if we are going to get a society that of course is fairer and if we want to guarantee a model in which economic growth reaches out to everybody. Thank you very much.